Hello everybody, Aku here here, and welcome back to another episode of Redstone Mini. Today we are going to be looking at the spammer machine. This is a thing I built. I'm not going to say I discovered it, because probably someone did this before me, but I just was playing on creative and I figured this out, but it's called the spammer machine. This machine just shoot that, shoots out things really fast. The most simplest way is just a, a, a one, uh, one line. So it is comp like really portable, but anyway... What it is, is if you put a torch here, and then put a block in the torch, this torch will be off. But if this torch gets signal, it'll turn off, this will turn on. Off, on, off, on. So really what it is, is if you flip that lever, this will go on, off, on, off, on, off, and it'll activate this dispenser. And then same with these. So if that's off, this is on, then this is off, and then that turns back on. So it really just spams out these dispensers to shoot out stuff. But let's try it out real quick. As you can see, <laughs> a lot of stuff comes out, but if we look at the torches, you can turn on, off, on, off, on, off. So really, that's simply how it works. And of course, you can put fire charges, snowballs, and one other thing that I'm going to talk about, but I'm going to do it last, because it's probably the most exciting. So, yeah, and of course, I'll tell you the pros and cons and how to build it. But let's just look at another same exact design, only a little bit better. Things to note. Uh, this can be made a three-way. As you can see over there, it's just a one uh, line. This is a three, so it has three dispensers on each side. So really, all you need to do is, since like this is like the same thing right here, just add two blocks on each side, add a piece of redstone coming from the torch, and a dispenser, and it works the exact same way. So let's flip the lever and see. As you can see, a lot of snowballs come out. So it's the exact same thing. But, um... Let's look at the pros and cons real quick, and then we'll look at that one. Um, actually, no, you know what? Let's just go look at it. Well, I'll do the pros and cons in a second. So let's just read a little bit on this. It's um, One thing to note is that you can make a clock. So this just keeps going on and on and on, and it just spams out forever. But let's read a little bit about the clock. Let's fly up because I accidentally fell down. The clock needs to be an 8 repeater circle. I know it's 7. I kind of made a mistake and I didn't have time to change the sign. But yes, it, it couldn't. It can be a 7 or an 8. Um, I don't really see a difference in either one of them. Let me get some redstone real quick. But yeah, 7 or 8 circle of repeaters. And of course, they all need to be uh, facing the same way. And then you put a torch down and it just flicks it off. And you guys probably know that. But I will show you in a second. But anyway... If you don't, if it's any less, then it will not work. The last thing is, this is very destructive. You guys probably already guess. I filled all three lines of these with TNT. So, uh, let's just do this and take a look. If this really lags a lot, I'm sorry guys. I'll just try my best to keep it still. Do you guys see all that TNT? That was the TNT one. As you can see, there's a lot of TNT coming out. A whole wow, that's a lot. And it does make a very big circle. So uh, if you build that, I'd be really careful with it. But really quick, let's go look at the pros and cons, and then we'll see how to build it. Um, spam machine. Let's look at the pros. It's very cool and portable. Um, it's honestly not that big. It's maybe like a 4x4, four 5x5, four, five five. and if you just do it this way, then it's just a 3x1. So it's really not that big at all. Second pr uh, pro is it's easy to make. And as you can see, it's not that hard. You just need to put like a line of torches, a line of redstone, and then some dispensers. And it's repetitive, so it doesn't get confusing. On a lot of redstone, there's a lot of components to it and different stuff you have to do. But in this one, it's really repetitive. You just have to make that line, and again, it's it's really easy but there's always cons so let's look at those it takes up a lot of material but this only um, matters if you're in survival if you're in survival it does take up a whole lot of materials so I'd be careful about that um, second con is it takes time to put all the items in dispensers even in creative this is quite tedious because you have to go to each dispenser and put stuff in each one so that is kind of really boring and tedious um let's look at the third one 
it lags a lot. You can make this as high as you can, and if you do put a lot, it does lag out your game a lot. The last one is very hard to create in survival. So yes, in, in uh, creative, it is easy to build, but in survival, it can be quite boring, so I'd be careful about that. And one last thing to note about the pro is, it can go as high as you want. If you want, you can make it all the way up to the highest level, but yeah. So it's a, uh, I really like this machine, it's pretty cool. And lastly, let's just go build one real quick. So the materials we need is, we need one lever, put a stack, but you only need one. You need a lot of redstone torches. Honestly, I can't put an exact number because it depends how high you want to make the machine. You can make it 10, 20, so really, just grab as many as you can. You need a lot of dispensers. Again, I don't know the exact number because different people want to build it at different heights. A lot of redstone and one material of your choice. So either like snowballs, fire charges, TNT, whatever. But uh, let's just go over here. And I forgot one item. You just need a lot of building blocks. But uh, let's start building it. So what you need to do is you just need to add a block and then torch. Block. Oops. And then torch. Block. Oops. Block. You can just make this go as high as you can, but I'm just going to make it maybe one more. And from here, just add two cobblestone out. And it depends if you want it just a one way, but I'm going to make it a three way. So just, then they go to the other side, add two, add two, 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 and then go, that's three. Then let's go to this side and add two, 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 two. Two, two. And one thing is you need to leave one side open for the clock or the lever or whatever, so you can make it a three-way. Now what you need to do is add the redstone on each part. Just add in all the redstone right beside the torch. And torch there and then one above it. Oh, right there. Now the last thing, well not the last, but the last part of the machine is you just need to add the, add the dispensers. So, dispenser, I think it's quicker just to go up like this, but you guys can build it however you want. Let's go back down, dispenser, 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 dispenser. Let's go back down again. So yeah, it's pretty repetitive, it's not that hard to get confused. Um, uh, you mean, it's very easy. I, I, I totally messed up that sentence. Just ignore that. But anyway, now the last part is the material of your choice. So put TNT, whatever in it. And, of course, we need to add the lever, the clock, whatever. But press that. You can see lights flicker and all the, all the dispensers activated. So, of course, if you wanted to take a repeater, so make it one. All right, how do I do this? All right, one, two, two. Two, and then just add the redstone over here. Oops. And that is it. And don't just leave the repeaters on default because if you make it any longer, it won't be as fast. But yep, you can build a clock, you can build just a lever, whatever you guys want. And of course, if you want to start up the clock, you just put a torch in the corner, remove it quick, and it'll just keep going on. So that has been the machine. I think it's a really cool build, easy to build. And honestly, I just think it's a really fun thing to play with. But as a finale, let's just restart up this machine and just let it go for a while. guys um the machine kind of blew up itself but i was about to turn it off anyway but one thing to note is that i just learned is make sure you build it high enough because if you build it really down low on the ground the tnt one is that the tnt will explode and bounce another tnt up and it will break your machine so build it really high up in the air but this is a creative world so i don't really care let me time set day real quick but guys, that has been Redstone Mini. So guys, thank you for watching. Make sure to leave a like and comment as you got as it supports my channel. This has been Aquagear. Uh, good day and God bless.